girl. We told him yesterday. Oh yeah, I forgot. Going to the hospital and we're gonna see baby. You can have a little bit more excitement. Uh, it's the clown. And today yeah. is my 12 week doctor's yeah. appointment. CV has really stepped it up. Stepped up in the kitchen, cleaning. Like, he's just seriously husband goals. Yo, let me say something. Are you, please don't rap. Do not kill this moment, Steve. Going to the hospital. Hold on, scratch that. Going to the hospital, look at the baby. Get out the ultrasound. We see the baby. Told size, we gonna have a baby. She was like, how do you know? It ain't a baby. Girl, that thing's coming, and it's a girl. Introduce it to the world. That's my baby. That's my boo. Can't wait for her to see what's up with all this uh, beautiful uh, uh, stuff. And, you know, oh my God, on that note. It's so crazy that there's a living baby inside of my stomach. <laughs> Just hanging out all day, every day. Oh. Got an arm in front of the face. Aww. <laughs> Hiding her face. Hey. So cute. That's, look at that perfect head shape. She's already cute. She looks just like you. <laughs> Stevie's actually been gone all day. He's been shooting um, a fun little campaign. He got a deal with Old Navy, so that's really cool for him. So I didn't want to like freak him out this morning before he left to his shoot, so I was acting like super peachy keen. I got up to pee, and this might be TMI for some of the fellas out there, but when I wiped, it was a brown like spot. Like I was spotting brown, and I instantly woke up and I was just like, Whoa, 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 what is going on here? So I called my doctor and my doctor said to just keep an eye on it for the weekend. If at any point it starts turning red or it gets heavy or I start cramping, to call immediately if that happens. I have no pain, no discomfort, but the fact that it's there has just been really unsettling. It's crazy because you get on the forums and you start reading anything and everything and you just see that word, you see miscarriage and you start freaking out and you're just like, when am I in the safe zone? Something I've learned early on is to really let go and let God. And this morning I was really tested, but I opened up my Bible shortly after my doctor called and I was just like, no God, we are not going to let anything happen to this child. And I believe that, you know, this child has an anointing and a purpose. So I really had to speak that over not only this child, but myself. And I noticed that, you know, that's really what I need to grow on and, and really strengthen throughout this pregnancy. Just thought I would update you guys on this crazy little situation that happened to me this morning. I'm gonna carve open this watermelon because I've been craving it all day. <sighs> Surprise. <sighs> well, it's week 12 and you're like, why are you in the hospital? Somebody had a scary episode <laughs> and it's uh, currently 11.15, June 3rd, uh, on a Saturday night and Cezanne was going to the bathroom a couple hours ago and found some blood and so we got really scared. We rushed to the hospital to find out what was going on. We came to the emergency room and after waiting and waiting, we found out that the baby is okay. And we saw her flip during the ultrasound. She did a little flip. <laughs> she was like, I'm still here. I'm not going anywhere. I told Saz Thanks, our Sarah. baby is a little Kurdish fighter, also known as Peshmerga. <laughs> That's our baby. So I'm actually, I think I said this in a previous vlog. Steve, that is not an attractive angle. I already feel ugly in this outfit. <laughs> like I said, it was literally one of those let go, let God moments and the bleeding has stopped. Just have to keep an eye on it and just hope and pray for the best, but baby's doing good. <sighs> Trying to scare me. Oh, I have paint on my hands because I was painting at our new house today because I'm trying to paint to get ready for our baby. You had such a busy day, then you had to deal with this. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all worth it as long as the baby's healthy. Love you, baby. How's it going? Uh, great. I'm not doing anything. That's the beauty of pregnancy. Ooh. 
14 weeks pregnant. Woo! Hanging out with my bestie who is also a mom. Not we, pregnant. Not pregnant. 15 That's, months post -pregnant. There's her baby, Caleb. Misha, what motherly advice do you have for me? Sleep in while you can, my dear. Ah! Sleep in while you can. I can't sleep in now because I pee every five minutes in the night. It's real. It's so real. If I can have a baby that cute, I'll be happy with no sleep. Oh my God, he is my favorite. In the belly. That's my baby right He No, he. Can I just say? I'm sick. Steve has so many pregnancy jokes. I just told him while he's scratching my back, he can like <laughs> pick any pimples back there. I know that's kind of gross, but I'm just joking. And he goes, they moved all upstairs. And I was like, what? He's talking <laughs> about my forehead. That's not nice, babe. We are officially in our second trimester and now for the fun part. What's the fun part? Travel. Out here in Outer Banks. You grilling out? Tend to the grill. What is the one thing you're gonna miss about us when we have the baby? I don't know. A lot. Like what? One thing. Yeah. I like taking trips together. Just you and me getting lost in the world. Just trips. My number one, my number one partner. Take travel partner around the world. That's my baby. You're missing. You didn't get it. Do it again. You missed. You didn't catch it on the camera. You're definitely missing now. Oh, I'm a little emotional right now. You know, just being here on vacation with Steve's family and getting to spend time with my husband, it just made me realize how blessed we've been in this chapter of our marriage. And I'm like emotional, but in a bittersweet way because I know that this next chapter of our life is gonna be even sweeter with this baby coming, but to be honest, it's like I'm kind of going to miss it being just the two of us. And I told Stevie that the other night. We both kind of got emotional. But we're just going to really soak up the next five months and travel and just do as much as we can. Being in my second trimester, it's like we're almost halfway there, you know. And I just love Stevie so much. As this pregnancy is going on, he's just, he's been such a servant. And he's done so many things to just bless me and help me and even though he doesn't understand some of the things going on in my body, he's always there to listen, and he's just everything I've ever wanted in a man, so I think I just feel so blessed, and I just, I wanna do something special for him before this baby comes, and I haven't figured out what that's gonna be, but um, something special for sure, because he deserves it. Ow, ow! Mama and sexy. Carrying my baby. And looking fun. Girl, why you playing? Don't hide that face. Let me see. I'm hey. tired. I want to go to sleep. Oh, look at the little sassy cakes. Oh, you're tired. How long was I asleep? For 20 years. Oh, I hate sleeping with my makeup on. I just can't. Still craving salt and vinegar chips. I mean, this has been nonstop since the beginning. Man, what else have I been craving? I've been craving pickles, like three or four pickles at a time. Um, I still do have a pretty healthy diet, but I do give in to the cravings every now and then because you gotta soak up this time while you can before the baby comes and then you gotta get back in shape. You feel me? I got my first maternity package in. See? Look at that cute face. I didn't have much luck in the stores, you guys, so I decided that I would do some shopping online at one of my favorite stores, and they have a maternity section, so yay! I think this pregnancy glow that everyone's talking about, it definitely starts kicking in at like 17 weeks, and I feel like my skin is just like, oh, alive again. This is from Skin Ink, and basically, I'm almost out. You take this quiz online and then you basically, you know, it formulates your recipe for what you need for your skin. And so since I've been pregnant, this little bottle has actually saved my skin. That's not sponsored, I promise. I'm just letting you guys know that's made a huge difference. I am officially in my 18 weeks, but I just feel blah all of a sudden this week. Oh, I, I was feeling like myself and I don't know if I overdid it. I'm having to cancel and reschedule things and 
It's just this pregnancy really is like so unpredictable. You don't know how your body's gonna feel one day versus another day. I'm so ready for this baby to come, to be honest. And I am popping, or it might be that bean burrito I just had. You decide. <laughs> Behind the scenes at our gender reveal photo shoot for the blog. I'm assuming you guys have already seen it. What do you think the baby is, guys? <laughs> Sweet little boy. Woo! <laughs> to think that there's gonna be a child in this outfit soon. <laughs> is that what you're gonna do? <laughs> this is what she's gonna wear on Tuesday when she's born <laughs> and then Thursday. I'm just kidding, but I did already go a little crazy with shopping. Oh my gosh, Steve is gonna kill us. We need to get to work. Good morning, kitty. I know you can hear me. Are you sleeping? Leave me alone, baby. I'm tired. Why are you tired? It's 8.45 and your baby you should be up by 6 o'clock in the morning. No, I'm taking my morning nap. Oh my god, I cannot. Yes, away. Love you. I want to hang out. I'm tired. Give me 10 minutes. It's probably going to be like four and a half months. <laughs> Is that okay? <laughs> You're crazy. Super excited for this appointment because it's our 20 week checkup. We are officially halfway through this pregnancy and I am ready to pop. Any day now, 20 more weeks and then I'll be ready. Let's do this. Yeah, so now baby should be about 12 ounces. Oh my gosh, double. Um, from yeah, with it. And then at this stage about five to six inches. Aw. Aw, look at those feet. <laughs> He's got those big feet like me. Yeah. <laughs> this little oh. feet. Baby, she's got your head shaped already. <laughs> <laughs> she's got your round head. She has my big feet. I love your big she feet. She has Cezanne's long legs. Yay. And then she has my big head. So, no, let's hope she doesn't have your big head. That's going to hurt. Well, if she has my big head, your long legs, and then my big feet, she'll look like Mike Wazowski. So I actually will pray. <laughs> Against that, God, give her small feet, long legs, and a small little pea head like Cezanne. Yes. Is that a compliment? <laughs> yeah. Didn't see you coming, but all these songs would build a little home for us to hang out in, remember things, and dream about stuff. And so thank you very much. Jesse and I are literally, you guys, like the same week same pregnant, week. and we're trying to take bets on who's gonna actually go into labor first. These little no, girls right are gonna be spoiled right. because of these two right here. Yeah, absolutely. Right? Hey. <laughs> We're we'll going to Miami. Bienvenidos a Miami. This is the view right here at the city, and then you look over here, and you got these people, and they're out there, and they, they're in the, they're in the pool, are you? trying to swim on the rooftop. Why are you on the rooftop when the clouds are over there? The lightning gonna get you guys. Why are we happy today? Cause we are going to a game. A game? For all they know, it could be Timmy's little league game down the street. <laughs> this is Barcelona versus Madrid, says. I need you to understand this. Are we going for the same team? I'm going for Barcelona. Which one's Cristiano Ronaldo on? He's on Madrid, so. Oh. I, I used to have a huge crush on him back in the day, but now he's too feminine for me. Ooh. Look at that. <laughs> She's so mad right now. <laughs> Life behind the scenes with a fashion blogger. That's pregnant. What's the matter? <laughs> I'm not getting the shot that I want. We're trying to take outfit pics, and Zaz told me I don't know how to take pictures, and on and on and on, and it's like, okay. Steve, All of a sudden. Pregnant. I'm getting used to this new body, and wait, I don't know how I to think pose. you're so cute. <laughs> you're killing my vibe. <laughs> hot and sweaty and humid here. <laughs> With the stop knot, it looks like you look like a little girl, but not in a bad way. Being pregnant is not easy. It comes with hormones, comes with bad haircuts, oh, it comes with a big old stomach that you don't know how to style necessarily. And those big old boobies, those things are really doubled in size. <laughs> <laughs> Chips. <laughs> <laughs> you just fart. <laughs> oh my god. I'm sad. we're keeping this also for the pregnant vlog <laughs> and she's back. <laughs> you guys, we're being rebels right now.
<laughs> we were supposed to check out an hour ago and we're still in our hotel room. And it's one o'clock right now. And I'm just basically waiting till they come to the door. And they go, um, excuse me, I'm sorry that you're gonna be checked out. And I'm like, oh, I thought we had late checkout. <laughs> 21 weeks today, officially. And let's just say baby girl is growing. Just want to work out to stay healthy, happy, and keep this baby healthy. We have a bet this week that if one of us decides to bail on the gym for whatever reason, I can't even put the pregnancy card into the mix, then the other has to do something for the other person. Treat your thing. Yay! Stevie felt the first kick. I've been feeling her kick all week, but this is the first time you can actually feel it on the outside surface. Stevie and I are currently sitting in his Jeep, We're afraid sitting. to go outside. I think it's the hottest day it's ever been in LA. When you're pregnant, the hot and the intensity of the heat is about Ooh. 20 times more. And the intensity of the anger towards me, her husband, is about 40 <laughs> times more. <laughs> it's so hot outside that I looked at the leaves that were getting hit by the sun and I was like, how do they do it? They're getting smashed by the sun. Don't mind my Wendy's t-shirt. Wendy sounds so good right now, by the way. Um, we are literally about to eat dinner right now at like 10 o'clock at night. Okay, it's just, things are getting so crazy. There's so much that I still need to do for the baby and getting the nursery ready and doing all of these things. How am I gonna manage everything once this baby comes? Like, we were already working overtime before and this is like double, triple overtime. We're like LeBron in the fourth quarter, overtime. 24 weeks pregnant this week, you guys. September is going to be the busiest, craziest month ever. September is always the busiest month in our life with work and everything and travels and your fashion week and all of that. But I've just realized I'm gonna be almost seven months pregnant in September. I don't know how I'm gonna get through it, but let's just hope that if there's a will, there's a way. And if this man keep, continues to step up to the plate, we should have no worries. I always step up to the plate. You know why? Because I'm a batter. Not like cookie batter, like a baseball bat. Pow, pow. I'm drinking one of these bad boys a day. It's two liters of water. As you can see, I'm halfway there. Oh, you're halfway there. Oh, drinking water. Take my hand. You'll drink it, I swear. Ow, ow. Ow, sweetie. Sweetie. Ow. Leave it up there. Halfway there, guys. Oh, man. This house is only going to get crazier with the baby.